Hey guys, this is Brad Barnes with Barnes Foil Drive. Today I'd like for us to take a closer look at the options we offer on our axle link mount brackets. Okay guys, so let's take a closer look. First, the two main categories we have for axle link brackets are two and five eighths mounting widths and two inch mounting widths. Now, a lot of projects, you're gonna to wanna to run that inch and a quarter heim joint or maybe one of our Enduros, and that's gonna need that two and five eighths mounting width, which you have here. But let's face it, not every project needs that large of a joint. So our bracketry that offers the two inch mounting width is gonna work great for like a seven eighths heim or a three quarter heim. You know, the two inch stuff really works good for lightweight rigs. Um, maybe a rig on Toyota axles with a four cylinder drivetrain. You know, even it could go up to, let's say, a 40 inch tire as long as the drivetrain is light enough. Uh, if you're going to run tons, maybe a V8, a heavy automatic, I'd look at the inch and a quarter joints. Okay, guys, so with both the two inch and the two and five eighths brackets, we have three different variations. We have a zero degree a 10 degree and a 20 degree bracket. So when you're setting up your suspension and your rig is at its static rod height, you always want your joints in the, a neutral position. This allows you equal range of motion in all directions. That's why we have the different variations in mounting angle. So your zero degree bracketry, your link is gonna be perpendicular to your axle tube. Your frame link mount under your frame and it goes straight back to your axle. Now if we look at the 10 degree bracket, that's often used on like front three links. You're gonna have your bracketry as far to the outside as you can of your axle tubes, but you wanna bring those links back in towards the frame so you don't lose any turning radius. That's often where the 10 degree bracket is used. Now if we look at our 20 degree bracketry, this is gonna be used a lot in let's say a double triangulated four link for the lowers. This is gonna be from the outside of the axle tube, and with 20 degrees, that's gonna bring your link bracketry back towards the center of your chassis. And just keep in mind, like I said, we do offer these same variations in the two inch bracketry. So anytime when you're welding, you know, two pieces of material together, the best starting point is a great fitment from the get-go. We found that if your bracketry is straight across here, Often that leaves a gap between the bridge of the bracket and your axle tube. You know, that's just not a good fitment. So we have added extra material here to bridge that gap all the way to the axle tube to give you a great place to lay a smooth bead. Another thing we had in mind when we were designing this product is we wanted to minimize the amount of leverage that was being placed on the welds that attach your link bracketry to your axle tubes. So what we did is we made the legs here from the center of the bolt hole to the weld surface at its closest point as short as possible. That reduces the amount of leverage that's putting the strain on the welds. Okay guys, you know, if your link bracketries aren't bent right and cause a lot of problems, all of the Barnes four wheel drive suspension bracketry has to go through our go, no go gauge. It can only be oversized by 32 thousandths of an inch as well as undersized by 32 thousandths of an inch. So before we ship any Barnes full wheel drive link bracket, they all have to pass the gauge test. You know, sometimes on your project, space can be really be limited. So we come up with a little add-on product for our two and five eighths axle link mount brackets. These shock tabs will allow you to also integrate your shocks into your link bracketry. So when you have your bracket welded in place, you can take these shock tabs and they'll slide in over the top and you can weld them in at the width that matches your shock package. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you out on the trail soon.